Run faster, little kitty, or else we will miss the bus. Oh, no. Goodness me, we missed it. Oh, no. Well, no worries, little kitty. We will go for the picnic next time. But I wish there was still a way to reach there on time. Maybe a shortcut. Hmm, maybe a tunnel. Or maybe a wormhole. A wormhole? Yes, little kitty. A wormhole. Hey, friends. I'm sure you must have heard the term wormhole before. But do you know what it exactly is? If not, then don't you worry, my curious friends. Fasten your seatbelts. Because in today's episode, let us travel into this mysterious passage in the universe we call the wormhole and explore its deepest secrets. Zoom in! So, what is a wormhole? To understand what a wormhole is, first you need to understand what a black hole is. Because a wormhole is actually two black holes that are connected like a tunnel between two places in space. By going through the wormhole, you could travel immense distances across space faster than the speed of light, even if the two ends of the wormhole were very far apart. Yes, my friends, you could quickly go on a day trip from one planet in a distant galaxy to another planet. Imagine if you had one end of the wormhole at home and the other end at school. Then you could just step through the wormhole at home and arrive in the class without worrying about getting late. Unless you are too lazy to get out of bed. <laughs> so, a wormhole could be a cool thing to have around. But the problem is, as far as we know, there are no wormholes like this in our universe. And the only place we can find them are on paper. Yes, my friends, we haven't found any evidence of them existing and we don't have a clue about how they are formed. However, the existence of wormholes is not restricted by our current theories of the universe. So we can say that they do exist in theory. You might be aware of the theory of general relativity published by famous scientist Albert Einstein in the year 1916. It explains gravity, which is what keeps us on Earth and keeps the Earth orbiting the Sun. This theory also mathematically describes the wormholes. So, how to understand wormholes through theory? Firstly, we need to know about something called space-time. We often imagine space-time as a flat, stretchy fabric sheet. Everything you see around in our universe exists on this hypothetical space-time fabric sheet. By imagining about the fabric sheet, we are envisioning something called a two-dimensional surface. A planet wandering on the sheet can choose two kinds of movement, going front and back or going left and right. But in reality, space is three-dimensional, which means that planets can also jump up and down. In fact, there's also a fourth dimension, and that is time. And by putting all the dimensions together, you get what we call space-time. Now, let's get back to wormholes. Imagine we want to travel from one place to another on this imaginary space-time fabric sheet. Say, from Earth to a faraway planet. Even with the fastest rocket, this journey could take thousands of light years to complete. So this theory proposes that what if we could fold over the fabric so that our Earth and the faraway planet line up and then make a hole connecting the two layers of space-time. Then we could have a shortcut tunnel to get to the planet without having to take the longest route.
even though a wormhole is just a theory, I hope someday it will turn into a reality so that we could explore the wonders of our enormous universe. Trivia time! Did you know the wormhole is nicknamed as the Einstein Rosen Bridge? Yes, that's because in 1935, Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen used the theory of general relativity to elaborate on the idea proposing the existence of bridges through space-time. It's question time! Today's question is, in which year did Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen propose the theory of wormhole? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy Wootsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!